Mike Huckabee came out of obscurity recently to do some conservative Christian events and radio shows, and he wanted to remind us that if he decides to run in 2016, which he might, he'll be on the Christian Taliban ticket. I want to remind you of something. In case you have not read the end of the book, I want to encourage you to slip over there and do it. Because I got good news for all of the dispirited, disquieted Christians in America who somehow are afraid that the sons of Ishmael, who are challenging us now in the Middle East, will overwhelm the sons of Isaac. Let me assure you, I have read the end of the book. My dear friend, we win! And our flag still stands! Our flag is still there! Man, that's uncomfortable. What the Christian fundamentalists don't understand is that they say virtually the exact same things that their enemies say. See, they think they're so anti-Muslim fundamentalist, but if you listen to their language, they speak the same way. Oh, we're gonna win, it's gonna be our flag flying at the end of this. Skip to the end of the book, of course he's talking about the Bible. It's gonna be us that comes out on top. Let me ask you a question. Is that uh, a good way to speak when we live in a world with about 1.6 billion Muslims in it? He's setting it up as a very clear holy war. Us versus them. Us Christians win, you Muslims lose. Well, don't you realize that you're uh, isolating so many moderate Muslims when you talk like that? And you're creating more enemies when you do something like that. No, but how do you not understand that you're, you're equally as radical as the people you think you hate? And the fact that they really believe, to me, is probably the scariest thing. Like, I was talking about this yesterday with David Packman about how it doesn't even take a lot of introspection to realize that religion is bullshit. Just a little bit. I mean, think about when you figure it out. That, you know, if you grew up, like I grew up, I was raised Catholic, right? So we celebrated Christmas everything. I know a lot of people celebrate Christmas. When did you figure out that, hey, Santa's bullshit? When did you figure out that the Tooth Fairy's bullshit? When did you figure out that the Easter Bunny's bullshit? Fairly early on, right? I know we did. Me and most of my family members did, right? So I assume that's the case for a lot of people. Maybe some people went a little further, but either way, you figured it out eventually. And then obviously, I well, I hit a certain age, I think a lot of people hit a certain age, where they think uh, about these things in terms of religion. And they go, oh, that's right, yeah, that's, uh, that's fake too, isn't it? So, and then what happens? You become an agnostic, you become a secular person, you become an atheist. Describe it how you like. You still might have some sort of deistic beliefs or some sort of metaphysical beliefs or whatever, new age stuff. And that's fine. That's more acceptable than being a member of a dogmatic religion. But guys like Mike Huckabee, oh no, they're totally, they've totally bought into this idea that uh, Tooth Fairy's real, Santa's real, Easter Bunny's real, Jesus is real, and we're gonna defeat them, the Muslims, in a holy war. Well, you're making the world much more dangerous for people who are secular and who want to make this life something worth living and a place to be happy in. Because you and the other fundamentalists, the Muslim fundamentalists, are gonna destroy us when us secular people are just trying to have a good time out here. It's terrible stuff, man. Now, uh, let me give you one more here. This is Mike Huckabee. He went on a radio show to talk about a similar issue. Because I'm convinced that the problems are ultimately spiritual, the consequences are political. Sometimes people present it as if, if we can just get the right people elected to office, the spiritual revival will come. I think it's exactly the opposite. If we can pray, uh, humble ourselves, seek God's face, turn from wicked ways, uh, I believe then God will hear, and he will heal our land. So it's the spiritual that has to happen first, and the consequences will be political. That's amazing what he just said right there. Do you understand that? He's saying people need to get it. The spiritual comes first, and then that affects the political. And he said it. He said, prayer. Pray. 
That's what we need to do to get this country back on track politically. You pray. How stunning and inherently irrational is that idea? That his actual plan for public policy to change the direction of the country and do things that he thinks makes the nation better. It doesn't come down to, all right, guys, let's roll up our sleeves, let's sit down, let's compromise, let's negotiate, let's work on this tax rate, let's work on this healthcare system, let's work on this foreign policy idea. I mean, what should we do in terms of Syria? What should we do in terms of whatever, right? He goes, no, 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 you pray. You pray, and then when God hears you and you get right spiritually, everything just falls into place politically. No, when you pray, you know what's happening? Nothing. You're shouting into the wind. You're talking into the abyss. Nothing changes. It takes hard work to change this world we live in. It takes caring about what actually goes on on this planet to change what we do. The most religious countries in the world, a lot of them are the, the worst, scientifically, technologically, economically. If, Iran, for example, right? Oh, we want to have religion in the government. Great. So then you love Iran, Mike Huckabee. And what would he say back? Oh, don't be silly. That's the, that's the wrong religion. That's the bad religion. Our religion, the Christians, we're geniuses. We'll, we'll, we would have it great if everybody just abided by Christianity. Really? Uh, you do know that Greece is one of the most Christian nations on the planet. Over 99% Christian. Was it half? 25% unemployment rate. Permanent depression-like conditions. Literally fascists fighting communists in the street on a daily basis. The Golden Dawn neo-Nazi fascist party on the rise right now. Economic turmoil. Destruction. Disaster. 99% Christian. Higher than that, actually. So tell me again how Christianity and prayer is the answer. There's a lot of people praying in Greece right now. Didn't quite work out, did it? No, we need to live our lives on this planet and approach problems in a scientific, enlightened way. Not this crazy nonsense belief system that Mike Huckabee is pushing, which, again, call it what it is, he's the Christian Taliban.